Hi, this is Joel from Madden Design Group, and I'm back for part two in my series on Node Embed. Um, part one, you missed uh, getting started with the module, so uh, installing and uh, the basis for inserting or embedding nodes. Uh, in part two, we'll be covering customizing Node Embed, so customizing our embedded content more or less. So there's three main ways that um, that I know of, at least, to customize your embedded content. And uh, one of those is modifying um, a view mode. Another is writing a custom template. And then the last is sort of a mix of the two, and that's changing the default view mode that you wish Node Embed to use. So let's start with modifying our view mode. So if we go to structure and content types, so for uh, whatever embedded content you're using, you'll want to click on manage display, in my case, image. And you'll, by default, if you come in this way into modify and display, you'll be uh, highlighted on default. And then you can choose um, customized display settings. By default, Node Embed will be unchecked, but uh, the Node Embed module provides this view mode for us to use. So in some cases, it will be really handy to use Node Embed. And we click Save. And then now, uh, after you click Save, you'll have a tab at the top to navigate to Node Embed. And so this works just like modifying any other view mode. We can decide if a label is hidden or displays. Uh, for our image, we can choose a specific image style so that way it's not humongous. And then, you know, we can choose whether something is summary or trimmed or uh, and so on. So it's fairly simple. All right, and in this case, uh, my node looks roughly the same. Uh, with modified view mode settings, so uh, no point in really showing you that again. So I'll jump right into part two, and that's creating a, a template file, a TPL file that we can use um, to really uh, customize our content. So I'll hop over to my text editor here, and so um, I've duplicated Bartik and named it Bartik Custom, moved it into um, Sites, All, Themes. And I created a template. Um, the naming convention I have listed out in the blog post, but I'll describe it to you. So it's node, dash, dash, and then image is my, um, is my content type. If that was multiple, like if it was um, image, node, for example, it would be image underscore node. Um, and then the dash dash node underscore embed. So this is saying um, that we're using the node embed view mode. So only will this template be active when we're viewing an image node using the node embed view mode. So hopefully that makes sense. Uh, the TPL naming conventions are, are a little, little weird, but uh, hopefully you can get the hang of it. The advantage of creating your own TPL file, of course, is you get access to, to plenty of markup. And um, the code for this is fairly simple. We're checking to see if a field exists. If it exists, we're printing that out. And you can see I've added a little bit of my own um, custom markup here using the HTML5 figure tag. So nothing nothing too crazy going on with that. The third way to customize our node embed content is um, slightly modifying um, our, our embed code to use a different teaser. So by default, um, like I was saying, node embed tries to use the um, uh, node embed view mode, but we could change it if we wanted to. So if we add a space, 
we can say view underscore mode equals teaser, for example. So now instead of using uh, our node embed view mode, it would use a teaser view mode. So maybe you already have a teaser configured and, uh, and that will work great for you, so you can use that. So we can click save. And now you can see, I don't have my teaser configured, but you can see, yes, absolutely, it's using a different view mode now. Um, so really those are the three ways um, to, to modify, um, to customize how your content is going to be displayed. Um, now I wanted to discuss one more one more thing that's really handy with the node embed module and it's the ability to pass custom parameters and this works kind of like a query string in a lot of ways so just like in this example where we said view mode equals teaser we can make up our own things so if you're inserting image content one thing that may be helpful is the alignment uh, for example so we could have something that says like align equals right or we could change that to left you get the point so if I um, by default this won't do anything so there's some more code that we need to add um, so let's go let's go take a look at our code so first things first we absolutely will need to use a, a custom TPL file uh, node template and that same convention that I discussed earlier will work so node dash dash content type dash dash view mode and you can there, there's some documentation out there on, on how that naming convention works but uh, um, I found that it was sort of all over the place but after you uh, get your template file created you can see here that I'm printing out classes. Classes is a variable that Drupal has by default for you to use in your template files. And we're going to modify what gets passed to classes. So um, that would best be done from template.php in a node preprocess function. So since I was using Bartik as my basis, um, there's already quite a bit in template.php. Bartik already has a preprocess function defined, so we can use that. So um, the naming convention on that would be function your theme name. So in my case, it's Bartik custom. So it's Bartik underscore custom preprocess node. Um, the first few lines is provided by Bartik, and then line 118 through 127 roughly is what what I've provided. So I'll quickly run through this code. You can see here I'm um, checking to see what view mode we're looking at and I'm checking for node embed and what content type we're viewing. So we're viewing the image content type. If those are true, I want to check to see if my align variable exists. So remember align is a custom variable that we're passing through the node embed module. If that's true, we'll add that to the classes array. Again, this is something that Drupal provides out of, uh, out of the box. And we'll pass our value um, to that classes array. So if we go back, this is going to print out our classes array. So one more note. Um, if you're familiar with the Devel module, it's a it's a developer module that really uh, does a lot of things, but one it easily prints variables and and other um, value values to the screen easily. So in this case, let's see what we're passing through with our node embed parameters align, and you would change align to whatever whatever you're passing through. So for example, maybe you want to pass through a custom um, image style so you can change the size of your photograph or, or something else. So if I refresh, you can see that it's right. 
And just to show you that anything whatsoever could be passed through, I can change this to Atten. And of course, if I don't have anything set up to handle um, Atten, nothing will happen whatsoever. But you can see here is that value. And then if we inspect the element and try to find the classes array, we can see that Atten is indeed being passed through uh, in that classes array. So let's change it back to a value that I'm actually expecting, like left or right. And that now you can see that my image is right aligned and that's just a little bit of CF CSS that you would need to add. So um, my class of right and class of left, obviously you could get a lot more complex with that. So that's three, uh, three different uh, files that you'll need to modify or create. Template.php, uh, where we pre-process our classes. And then our node template file, where we add our markup and pull in the fields that we, we wish to display.